Hello everyone. It's been a really long time since I've done a quick tip video, but I have one for you guys today. Um, <clears throat> I've been asked quite a few times what is the best way to cut apart um, coordinating die sets or just die sets that are all connected and have interior shapes connected and all that sort of thing. Um, so I thought I would show it with this um, Love You A Latte dies that coordinate with the Love You A Latte set because yeah, this is exactly what people have been asking me about. Generally, most die sets come attached to their cardstock backing with some form of adhesive, just to kind of keep them in place. So obviously you just want to peel it up off the adhesive. Um, now sets that come without interior shapes and they're all just connected which um, my favorite things is one of the companies that does them all um, separate this is a set from mft so rather than put interior shapes inside other ones they keep them all separate it's a convenience thing so more often than not i won't separate these dies like i just keep them all connected that way i don't lose any i know where they are it's just easier so that's the convenience factor, but to save cost, time, money, all that kind of sort of thing, um, a lot of companies nest other shapes inside the larger ones. So one thing you absolutely pretty much have to have, it makes a world of a difference, is wire cutters. So I will link um, to the ones I have. I've had these for years. Um, yeah, but yeah, fine tipped wire cutters makes a huge difference. Um, it does say right on them to use safety glasses. I actually do recommend this. Um, me personally, I have, if you've seen my other videos where you can see my face, um, I have quite large glasses that I wear on a regular basis. If I wasn't wearing glasses, I actually would wear safety glasses because when you cut these tabs and all you literally have to do is um, just cut them like so. Doing that is fine. And then to cut the interior shapes, I just, um, I try and cut, I hold like the cutting edge as close to the inside of the die as possible. So, you know, to try and create as smooth of an edge as possible. So I snip that off. I hold the die when I snip the last connecting piece otherwise this is going to fly off everywhere so that does protect yourself to a degree it's when you go to cut off these little tiny tabs here and here this is where the whole safety glasses thing comes into play and honestly i've seen it happen myself personally when you go to cut these tabs like so this little piece will fling off the pressure exerted by the wire cutters on this no matter what you do it just creates quite a bit of force. Um, I have had these pieces embed themselves in my skin and seen them fly over like it yeah protect your eyes when using these and I when my kids are around I usually either either don't do this at all or um, I do it in a way so that like I have like even right now you can hear Gavin swing is over here um, he's napping so I turn myself so that if a piece does fly off somewhere um, it's nowhere near him and then last but not least I don't know if I'll be able to show on camera I can kind of zoom out here, you can see my desk desk. What I do is I have, I'm gonna try and show this on camera, is I have my garbage can right below like my desk. And when I am cutting these little tabs, I will hold the die as close to the edge of the garbage can as possible and just trim off the little tabs that way so that if they flick, flick off at all, um, they end up in the garbage and not, you know, somewhere on my floor where you can step on them, that sort of thing. So it, takes me longer to verbally explain this to you guys <laughs> than it does to actually do it. So I can do a whole set in not very long at all. And then to store them, I will either put them back in the package, just loose and they'll just sit in the bottom of the package. Um, and then I'll sometimes insert that into, especially when it's a coordinating set like this, I'll just insert that into here. Or if you want, you can get magnet sheets. I happen to have a bunch on hand from old MFT sets. So I found one that's actually the same size as the packaging, so I can actually keep this stored in the package if I want. And then that way I can keep all my little dies um, stored together. And then I know where um, they all are. And 
if it doesn't already say somewhere on the packaging, which this one doesn't, um, I will write on the packaging um, how many dies are in the set so that I'll always know it's like, oh, it's a set of 15. If there's only 14, it's like, okay, I'm missing one. <laughs> so I do that. And then another little thing I do to keep track of my dies, this is kind of dirty, is I have this Tim Holtz tray. Um, it's got a little bit of a lip on it. And when I'm using my dies, um, certain sets, I put them in here, especially ones that, yeah, I've cut apart using the different pieces. So I'll keep them all in here until I'm done whatever project I'm doing. And then they're all in here. So even if I'm only using, say, one die, I'll keep the rest of the dies in the tray just so that I know, or like if they're already on a package, I'll just keep it like however, just so I know where they are because yeah, these little, especially little ones like this, um, they tend to walk away. So that is my um, tip for you guys. Hoped it helped. I knew I had these somewhere. Forgot to add, if the sharp tabs on your dies after you've trimmed them, they're still usually quite sharp. And if that still bothers you, or if you find you're catching yourself on them all the time or tearing things, um, you can get files. Um, I'm pretty sure I got these from Simon Says. I'll find where I got these and I'll link to these. But you can get little like metal files that you can use to sand down these rough um, edges. It's time consuming. It's yeah, it's up to personal preference. I never bother um, doing this at all. Unless it was a die maybe that I used all the time and it was becoming a major issue and I was like really cutting myself on it. But I have so many dies that I would be spending all my time, you know, sanding off um, edges. It doesn't take much. Like you don't actually have to sand the whole little like nub off, but it's more just to get those sharp edges so that they're not slicing you up. But it is an option if um, it's a concern for people or like if your kids are using your dies and you're, you know, worried about it. Um, for me, I just make sure to snip them off really well. But I do have these if I want. And I just thought I would mention them if people were interested in that. So I will try and remember to source these and I'll post a link with everything else um, in the description box below the video. Okay, so that is it for now. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.